Well, good morning, Winning Ways fans, and welcome to the preview for Gravel Turf Track. We've got uh, 24th of November, it's a Sunday meeting, and um, it's a nine-race program. We start off with two barrier trials, so we start pretty early, 11.15 is the first barrier trial, 11.45 the second one, and then we go into the first race. The pentrometer is 24, which means that the going should be perfect. No false rail. Have a close look at that, which means that... Um, Certainly, the horses on the inside have got an advantage when they turn for home. So a draw does become crucial. Race one, maiden plate, fillies and mares, 1,200 metres. And uh, Ode is your hot favourite from the only answer from Fear and Stable and does look like the one to beat. But there are two others that I would throw into your play. Miss Charlotte, they've taken the blinkers off her. I don't think the blinkers helped her last time. Go back and have a look at her run before to American Princess. That was um, certainly... A very good run and would give her a big chance here. And the other runner that I like is number 10, Lady of Lutia. Lutia. Um, Paul Lafferty's runner, Warren Kennedy, drawn three. I think this put up a very good barrier trial indeed and expect a big improvement. Tornado Alley is an interesting runner because it's uh, Luke Ferraris rides for his mother and his aunt, uh, his mother and his sister actually, and uh, he should have some fun. I hope he rides it properly, otherwise he might be out back bad books of the Ferraris family. Race two, maiden plate, 1,200 metres, number of horses needed here. Um, the favourite here, and it's on a barrier trial trip to Africa, and I thought it was a very, very ordinary barrier trial. And nothing I liked about it, but it will be interesting to see how it goes. Um, and um, my uh, patron, Mr. Gary Pierre, is involved in this with a whole lot of my mates. So it should be a very interesting run to see how trip to Africa goes. I thought, um, as I said, the barrier trial did nothing to impress me, and I think this race is very, very open. I put in Atacama Raid, Enzo, that goes into your play. Uh, Forest Jump and Alma Mata, the two um, Daryl Moore runners, both got chances in here. And then um, I did like uh, number 12, Running Freely. I thought that was a much better barrier trial, didn't run badly at all, and expect that to run well here. And Wiley's Choice has got some form. Power to Command's got blinkers, so a number of horses worth putting into your play here. Race three. Uh, that's the first leg of the, um, the bipod. I'm going to play wide, wide, wide. Race three, 1,400 metres, maiden plate, first leg of your PA. Uh, Jet Ignite. Marcus jumps aboard this. Comes from a break. If it's ready, it will win. It's the right horse in the race. Um, but the danger's got to be explosive beauty. I thought this ran pretty well after a barrier trial and should go very, very close. Her mom from the Canamar stable ran a good last race, drawn wide, that's not going to help it. But I do feel like Chet Ignat here in race uh, three. Race four, maiden plate, 1,400 metres. Bold Phoenix uh, gets Marcus, gets the blinkers, gets the kitchen sink, everything thrown at it, drawn well, everything in his favour. Vino's boy is a horse that we went for last time strongly, um, and uh, he was an each-way bet. He gets a blinkers this time. Didn't look like he goes through it, but I think he probably needs gelding. But if he doesn't need gelding, the blinkers might help him. Edo Furin, I thought, ran a cracking good race. The feedback from my uh, rider, Calvin Habib, was that he's a nice horse and come back a little bit in trip, which is what they've done. He's got to run well. San Verde and Scully both got chances. Dixon's runner with a Gareth, a Gareth Fenzel runner looks like a big improver. So tough first leg of the pick six. Race five, Mary rated 76 fillies and mares, and I make it a five-cornered contest. Metro Music um, with Peter Sir claimed four might be my first choice. I do like this um, filly. I think she's quite good, and she's certainly better than this field. Uh, number eight, La Valette. Well, remember I found this last time. I said they have a good each way uh, chance, and she ran very well. And uh, Hals's comment was, wait for the grass. Well, we've now got the grass. We've got gates on it, and I think there's a lot to like about it. What else is there? Well, the favourite's been scratched. Naomi will run on from the back. And um, there was one other that I found here. Uh, number 10, Elusive Flight. Randolph, drawn wide, not in its favour. Right, race six, uh, 1,200 metre, metre rated 88. Mr. Fitz does look like the absolute bee's knees here. What are the dangers? Calabro, Marcus, and then uh, six and 11. Six is Pearl of Asia. 
which is Robbie Hill's runner. I think he's got some ability. And Winter Jack, you don't know how good he is. But Mr. Fitz does look like the right horse and might easily end up being a backup. Race 7, Merry Raid at 1,000, 1,000 metres. And here might be another banker, Socrates. He's a very nice horse. I really, really like this horse. Um, and he is as game as they come. He just looks like he's a genuine game, lovely, lovely horse. Um, Winter Blues, I think this will run very well. This is my second choice here. Captain's Girl and Boeing City, both worth including if you're going wider. And then Hey Boy um, for uh, the Hot Fleshers. Kamalo gets a board at draw nine. I don't think the draw is going to help this horse, but Kamalo certainly is. Race eight. Mary Raider 99, 2,000 meters. And uh, I make it a three-corner contest. Rail Trip should not be able to beat Victorious Man on the weights. And so Victorious Man is probably my first choice. And I do like a Top Classman. I think this horse will run well. He's better on the turf. I didn't think he ran a bad race last time. And I think that he might improve from that. Um, but they look like the ones just jack of hearts if he gets away from them with a four kilogram claimer might be the big danger race nine maiden plate 1600 well here the potty of the day baby shoes comes into the race and everyone's going to be bankering this not me uh, horses have come come back from um, a break he ran a great race behind brass bell and we think that the form will be franked uh, earlier on today but there's a lot that makes me wonder about this horse. I think Eagle's Vision with the blinkers, drawn two. I think that's a big run, a third run after a rest. Gray Lingari, expect that to run well. And the biggest danger might come from Slew City. Keegan DeMello gets a big chance on this one, drawn one. Ran a cracking good race last time. Everything's in his favour. And then if you're looking for another horse to throw into your quartet, you throw in a Staff Sergeant, race nine. Shane Humby holds the key. It will be very interesting to see if he can boot home a few have a great day's racing to all you Interbet players. And if you haven't got an Interbet account, you better join.